Hey everyone, Greg with Bright Spots, bringing a video to you on an unboxing and uh, review of Tacticam Reveal X Pro. Hey, uh, you've seen on my recent videos, had some that uh, were about my Covert WCA series. Nice camera, about 350 bucks when I bought it um, over the weekend. Started taking a bunch of pictures, started going rogue, and uh, I got like 300 notifications of pictures that were just of nothing. No no movement of anything, no wildlife, no birds, no nothing. Um, depleting my 12-volt battery, um, which should last months, um, was not doing so. So, time to get a new camera. So this came in the mail today. Um, I just uh, just got it. And I figured I'd do an unboxing just to uh, show people out there what, what, what you get when you purchase this. So I'm taking it out of the box here. Whoops. Strap. We're good. Got your SIM card. Comes with a SIM card, owner's manual, get your uh, antenna, kind of cool, and then if you take the camera out of the plastic here, yeah, lightweight, pretty sweet looking, I like it see it it's pretty wild so you got your uh, holes right here where you can mount cable coming through here Python cable of some sort uh, the cool part is is that it actually goes through the door right here so when you have this puppy locked to a tree with the cable nobody can come up here and uh, Open it up. See? Goes all the way through. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I know uh, <clears throat> the Reveal X, I do not, the non-pro, I do not believe locks through the door like that. So that's a, that's a really cool feature. Um... But yeah, you got your eject button here for battery, which is pretty awesome. Good old 12 double A's. Um, I also like down here at the bottom here, here's the uh, external jack for 12 volt. That's what I'll be using. Because the idea is I just want to set this thing and forget it. Little plastic piece over here. Put the uh, antenna on. And what did I say? Wait for it. There we go. Pretty cool. Check it out. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that. Super light. So your SIM card goes right here. Excuse me, SD card. <laughs> SIM card's over here. So let's go ahead and just pop this out. No big deal. And it shows you how to put the SIM card in. So where you have it notched, it's going up towards the antenna. Oh, that was the wrong way. You've got to be ki just kidding. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, that's in. Got my handy dandy SD card I'm going to put in here. Pretty easy. 
So, like I said, SD card right here, SIM card right there. I already have the app on my phone, so I'm assuming this is the QR code right here that we're going to be adding the camera to the app. Um, but yeah, pretty slick. So I hope you can see this all right. I'm in my shed right now. But yeah, this is the coolest part I really, I, so far, is being able to lock this. Never happened to me, and I hope it never does, but I've heard a lot of people say that their cameras don't get stolen, but the SD cards do. And I don't know about you, but when you go out to your camera in the woods and you're going to uh, check SD cards, it's kind of like Christmas. Especially this time of year. So, um, I have a 12 volt external over here that I would like to hook this thing up to, and let's see if uh, see if it'll fit. I do know the problem with external batteries, um, the cables, the cords, the ports. A lot of cameras are different. So at the bottom here, you can see where that jack is. And what I have on this, it's right there. So let's see how these, these go in. Hopefully it works. Doesn't look like it's going to. Bummer. Yeah, it needs a smaller, smaller barrel. So that barrel is pretty, pretty thick. The diameter, it's too big. Um, all right, I'm going to pause this and go try something else. But for right now, Tacticam Reveal X Pro. Pretty sweet. I haven't even shown you what it looks like on the inside. But that's pretty awesome. So you got the panel. You got the power on button right there. Up and down and left and right, toggling the menu and whatnot. Like I showed you earlier, this right here is the eject button. Bring down the battery, battery pack. So yeah. All right, we'll be back. Hey everyone, we're back. So um, I know back in the day when I had some other cameras and I tried to use an external 12 volt. Uh, battery um, canisters and whatnot. I knew that the uh, the barrel connector, like I was showing you, it's too it's too um, big. The diameter is too too thick. It's too large. Won't fit in the bottom of the of the jack here. So back in the day, I had got on Amazon and bought a assortment of different barrel connectors. So what I'm going to try to do right now is find one that fits this, the camera first. I know they all fit the regular or normal size, I guess. That's what they call it of this. I have no idea what that is, and I apologize for that. But Okay, so this one fits. Fits down there. So if we're going to connect bottom down there. Oh, yes, we got green light, folks. She is operating. That's awesome. Uh, it says searching right now. So the really cool thing about this camera is that it uh, will search and swap back and forth between AT&T and Verizon to find the uh, strongest signal, which is really cool. I know out by where I'm at, it's very remote. Um, and it's in the bottom of a bowl. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll see that. Um, so I had to use uh, <clears throat> a pointing antenna to go up the tree about 20 feet and connect to my covert. So um, I'm going to put another video out there to test that out because my covert has two ports for the antenna. This one obviously has one. And if you look at a lot of the cameras nowadays, they all have one. Um, some of the more expensive ones, I think, have two, but so 
Um, I've been told with the pointed antenna that has two cables coming off the antenna, one should be uh, sufficient for what we're what we're doing here. So, uh, camera says GPS searching. I don't know if you can see that or not. GPS searching. Not sure how long this takes to search. But yeah. So I'm with the X Pro, it says best in class photos, on demand high def photos, request video from app. That's a really cool feature. Um, instant link with camera, works on Verizon or AT&T, built in GPS. So if someone steals this, you know where this is going, you can follow it. Um, LCD screen, no glow, infrared technology. Can't wait to see how that works. Looks like they're plans. Oh, we're, we're set up. Got 4G on here. So, oh yeah, so you can see pretty cool menus and whatnot. All kinds of stuff you can do with it. Um, network selection, password you can put on here, camera info, camera name, general. You can go through in uh, camera mode, um, image size, video size, video length, night mode. Pretty cool. You can send, so you can uh, maximum numbers per day of photos you want to receive. I like that feature, but I don't really pay attention to that because I want to know everything that's going on out there. Um, settings check, send type, check in photo, GPS, and this is more battery type. Um, SD loop. I do not want to overwrite pictures. So, looks to me like when you're on the when you're up top there, you can see where more is being selected right now with the line underneath it. If you hit the down arrow, you go to SD loop. If you hit the far button toggles it on toggles it off so that must be like your enter right there i'm going to leave that off but i am going to go back to general go down to the camera mode and see if i can do this backwards what do we got there photo picture and video i'd like to do picture and video so again hitting this far button or the right button. Not sure if that worked. Yep, it did work because you can see what's selected is picture and video. So that's really cool. Image size. Um, it's set at 8 megapixel. I'm going 16. By the way, this camera is a 16 megapixel camera. My covert was a 32. Kind of bummed out I'm going down a little bit, but I'm really looking for battery life is really what I'm looking for this. And from Hunting Farmer's um, video that he put out and his reviews of those five cameras I was talking about earlier, um, it looks like this has got some pretty good battery life. Uh, there's another video out there on YouTube. I'm sure there's tons, but um, this guy had seven of these Tacticams and says that he can set them in October and go all the way through December without having to place batteries. That's what I'm looking for. Um, video size. Let's see here. HD. Sounds good. Video length. 10 seconds. Perfect. Night mode. Minimum blur, balance, or max range. I'm going to go with minimum blur. I want to I wanna see what's going on here. Holy cow, there's all kinds of stuff. Flash power. We can go to sensitivity. You can actually... This is kind of cool, look at this. So you can see the sensitivity goes up by the numbers. I don't know what, how high you can go up here. Looks like nine is, nine's the highest you can go. So sensitivity, I'm gonna keep on seven right now. That's what the camera was. When it starts getting more towards rut, I'll, uh, I'll do some other ones. <clears throat> or, Go up a little bit further, I think. Oop, I just hit the barrel cord and she just 
shut off. So now it's rebooting. That was my fault. Not the camera's fault. I accidentally hit the cord and pulled out the battery. So, note to self, make sure it's secure. You don't want the battery cord coming out because then your camera's dead in the water. So it's connecting right now. It's kind of good for us to go back through this. When I first saw the red line on through there, can you see the red line? I thought something was wrong with the camera, but it's not. GPS searching. I knew this took a little bit of time, but pretty cool. Super lightweight. I like that. So the features on the box, it says best in class photos. I think we already went through some of this stuff. Uh, request HD photo from app. Request video from app. Built-in GPS tracking. No glow infrared technology. Built-in LCD display. Some accessories you can get for these too. Um, an external solar panel. Lockable security box. That's kind of cool. The adjustable camera stake, which is, which is pretty nice. Um, and then the reveal SD card. I don't ever get the SD cards by the manufacturers. I just usually go for the ones I can find at, at Best Buy or stuff like that. But you can kind of see some of the features and whatnot. Pretty cool. Still hooking up here. Oh, you can go through. Okay, cool. We're good. So back to general, going back down here, sensitivity is at seven. That's where we put it. So delay, I'm going to put a delay on, um, but I'm going to leave it at 30 seconds. I think that's good. Nope, I don't want to do that. The interesting part is how do you get back to the main menu from here? Hmm. That's interesting. So I'm stuck on here. Trying to figure out how to get off of there. I don't want to power this thing off. Not quite sure. Oh, yep. Hit the power button. Takes you back. Interesting. So delays on operating time. I'm going to leave that off. Format SD card. Date and time. Date and time is going to automatically sync up just because it's a cellular camera. As soon as it hits the network, it's going to automatically set the time and the date. So I don't have to worry about that. Um... Nope, I don't want to... Oh. <clears throat> I'm going to format the card, but I'll wait. Let's see. Yeah. So the only thing that's left to do is actually is to uh, send a, a picture. But I'm currently on with you guys with my phone, so... Um, yeah, if you got any questions or anything, um, be happy to, to try to answer those for you. Um, again, just trying to help people out to get a kind of a idea of what this camera looks like, um, which is pretty cool. And I let it sit here for a minute, and if you let it sit like this, it actually goes into what it says entering work mode gives you a countdown from 30 seconds down and I'm assuming that's to uh, to set the camera um, when it hits zero I believe it goes live so that's when you want to obviously shut the door and get yourself out of the area so pretty cool here
Um, again, really awesome camera. I'm super excited to try this thing out. Yep, see, entering work mode. So that's pretty cool. But I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing off. Yep, powered off. Take this off, go set it in the woods, and I'll do some more videos when I get out in the woods on uh, picture quality, video quality, day and night and whatnot. Um, like I said, though, the hunting farmer did a really good job on his video. He really went to the extra mile, hooked it up to a multimeter, all five cameras and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, check that out. I'll try to put the link to uh, his video in my description. Um, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong by doing it. I'm just promoting his awesome video. So, but yeah, again, Reveal X Pro, really nice camera. Love the feature right here, being able to lock the door and go through and lock the entire camera to the tree. So you can't steal it, can't steal the SD cards, can't steal the SIM card. Thank you very much for watching the video. Check back for some more stuff. Don't forget about the barrel connectors. Really awesome, handy, handy little item right there to catch you in a pinch like I was today. But uh, yeah, please subscribe. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, put them in the in the comments down there and um, share your thoughts on the Tacticam Reveal X Pro. Happy hunting.